Okay, so this is my fourth or fifth video for Ben TK's Euro Tour video. And in this particular video, I'm gonna show this particular effect, which is a kind of a seamless kind of a transition, which is showed in this video. Okay, so making this effect is pretty simple. All you need to do is just use your camera and shoot in the same direction for both the clips. Like for first clip, if you're going from down to up, then for the second clip also, you should go from down to up. And then in a post-processing software, just place those layers. The ending of the first layer should be in the above layer and the first portion of the second layer should be below of the first layer. So just keyframe the opacity for the first layer and that is pretty much it and your seamless effect is ready. And if you want to just add some additional flares, then you can just add some motion blurs in the same direction as the video. So I have made this effect for both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. So if you have come for Final Cut Pro, then skip to this portion. And if you have come for Premiere Pro, then skip to this portion. And with that being said, what's up guys, Special Sammy here. Welcome to my newest video. I hope you guys are having a great day. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to show for Final Cut Pro. And these are the two footages which I've taken. Sorry for the flickering effect. My shutter speed was at 1 by 6 seconds. Now first what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add speed ramp into it. So just cut the portions by pressing Shift plus B. And then increase the speed. I've already made a speed ramp in tutorial so you can watch that. The link is in the bio. Now drag the first clip over by lift from storyline and drag the certain clip below the first clip like this and then increase the portion of the second clip like this and then increase this filter so that it makes a very very gradual speed ramping effect. Now go to this position of the first clip around this position set a keyframe to the opacity. Go to the ending of the first clip, set the keyframe again and set it back to zero. The effect is almost ready but for this effect to work perfectly make sure that both the clips are in the same speed. In the same speed doesn't mean that it is the speed of the keyframe in the same speed means that it's the speed of the actual clip. So make sure that the speed is proper and then after rendering in your so make sure that the speed is proper and after rendering in your final video is ready and this is the final result. Now I'm going to show for Premiere Pro. Now for Premiere Pro it is much more detailed than Final Cut Pro because the speed ramping effect is a bit trickier in Premiere Pro. So this is the two footage which I've taken and in order to just to speed ramp in. Right click, time remapping, map in, speed. And do it for the second one also, right click, time remapping, map in, speed. Click on P and press on the position where you want to make a speed ramping effect on. I have shown a much more detailed explanation in my speed ramping video so you can just watch that. It is much more detailed for speed ramping because I have explained only the speed ramping process there. But here I am doing it in a bit hurry because the main purpose of this video is not the speed ramping portion. So just jab this portion above so that the speed is increased. drag it like this and drag this to make it a much more seamless process. Do the same thing for the second clip as well. Drag it up. Drag this to points and drag this to points. And then your speed ramping effect is ready, just let it end And then drag this clip, the first clip above and drag the second clip below the first clip. Till the point where you have the, added the speed ramping effect on. Okay, so now go to the effects control panel. Go to the opacity, set a keyframe to the opacity. Go few frames later, like at the ending of the clip. Set a keyframe to the opacity and set it to zero. And then your effect is ready. 
Now render this out, but make sure that both the clips, both the speed or the clips are exactly the same. By both the speed or the clips, I don't mean that the speed or the speed ramping. By both the speed or the clips, I mean the actual speed or the clips. Like the speed of the video, the video at which both the clips move should be exactly the same. Otherwise, this effect will not look. So that is pretty much it. If the speed is not same, you can speed it up or slow it down in the post processing software. And that is pretty much it. So after rendering it out, this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching guys, hope you liked my video. So if you are into cinematography, filmmaking, videography and photography then my channel is just for you and if you like my kind of content and if you like the stuff I do in my channel, the free stuff, the transitions, the plugins, the alerts, the tutorials and all this other stuff then please please subscribe to my channel and make sure that the push notification button is turned on so that you guys can see every time I make a new video. So let's just join our hands and make this family, make this community as big as we can. And if you have any kinds of doubts for the videos, for the later videos, for the future videos or any kind of suggestion or any kind of talk you want to have with me then you can follow me on Instagram at this particular link and I will definitely definitely reply to you as soon as I get the message or see the message so with that being said thank you so much for watching guys and do let me know in the comment down below about what you guys are creating today about what you guys are creating with my kind of tutorials and all this other stuff so please please keep on creating and hustle and with that being said peace